SISU's job degradation analysis allows you to see clearly in one place a list of delayed jobs and the specific reasons for the delays. In fact, it will show you multiple reasons for the delay of one specific job. The command requires RMF and is based on the last interval of data gathered by RMF Monitor 3. So here it gives you the number of samples, in this case 900 samples, and it gives you the interval um, in seconds. So it's been taking one sample per second, and this is the time when the last interval started. So on the left of the screen, it's a list of job names that are delayed, sorted by percentage of time the job was waiting on resources during the interval. This field right here, percentage, is sorted, and it's sorted descending, and it's also a status field that shows um, a warning if it's 50% or greater, as you can see here in this job, um, it's a warning at 65% of the time we've been waiting on an operator reply. And if it's greater than 75%, we have a red for problem. So um, on the left here, you can go into the command line and issue a select, and it can show you um, a screen where you can actually take action on something that is outstanding, like a reply. I can issue a reply here and then actually reply to the message that's delaying the job. So that's going to be different for every type of reason. The types of reason that we have, we have a delay because of CPU time was not available, a delay because a device is not available, delay because of storage is not available. We have a subsystem type delay, which can mean JES or HSM or XCF resources are not available. Then we have an operator type delay, and that is where a message um, is waiting on an operator reply. We also have it, an NQ delay where an NQ conflict exists. So um, what we have here is all of these formats that you can look at this information. For instance, if I hit the CPU format, that's going to give me a list of all the jobs that are delayed because of CPU. And in the detail field for CPU format, it's going to give you a list of the five jobs that are taking up the CPU that this job is waiting on. Now, you would notice that it's waiting on itself. That's because most of these jobs run multiple TCBs. So uh, this job right here is using um, CPU on a TCB that this job needs. Um, we also have a detail format, so you can look at the details in the middle of the screen. And as you can see, for the reason message, it'll give you the reply number. For CPU, it gives you the jobs. For devices, it'll give you the device IDs. The other um, reason for delays device, and that's going to give you a list of all the jobs that are waiting on device. And as you can see, some jobs are waiting also on CPU um, and device, or um, waiting on an NQ plus a device and CPU. The, the detail field will give you the major thing that it's waiting on. It'll give you details about the major reason. We also have the NQ format that gives you all the jobs that are waiting on an NQ conflict. And in the detail, you can see here, it has Q name, R name that's being waited on. We have HSM format for one of the subsystems. Nothing going on with that. We have JES. We have some jobs waiting on the availability of JES. Um, these are all the jobs waiting on a message, all the jobs waiting on a mount. And in this case, you can see uh, the reason mount. And if I select this, it can, it can take me to a screen where you can actually um, see the units that need to be mounted. Um, storage, you have a few jobs waiting on storage, only 1% though, and XCF. So in summary, the delay screen shows critical information about performance the performance of your system by presenting a list of delayed jobs and the reasons with a graphical display showing a status in color representing severity. You have the information you need to take quick action. Thanks for your time.